He says he winds you up just being in the same room as you. But it's too thick to wind me up. You ain't got the brains to wind me up. You finish it. <laughs> That's it, because he's, he's very dull and dense. He's not my type of person. I don't think we would sit down and go out for a coffee for a beer. He's a little arrogant piece of shit, I think. I just don't like him. It is the most intense, fierce rivalry I've ever seen in boxing. What's his best achievement, do you think? Losing to me. I believe I won the fight by a country mile. You would fancy Taylor to win the fight, but it was Carroll who performed well on the night. I was shocked, really. I thought Josh was underperforming, but he forced the victory. But I also thought Jack underperformed too. Being halfway through and think, oh my God, Jack Catchell's going to win this. Every fighter at some point in the career has to make that step up, and they either do or they don't. And Jack did. Sweet job. We've got to take risks now. Taylor starts to come back in the fight a little bit. He lost the fight in the championship rounds. Lost the chance. I think that's what annoys him more. And he knows it. Are we sitting on a massive upset? Or will Josh Taylor escape? Final bell. Final punches. Both men raising their arms. This could be a shocker. Oh, my God. Jack Catchell is undisputed world champion. I'll go to my grave saying I won that fight. And you do realise how you can go from feeling on top of the world to, to rock bottom in a matter of seconds. This could be a shocker. I didn't think I lost. So when I got the nod, I was like, oh, nice one. And still undisputed super lightweight champion of the world. It's a joke. It's a joke. Jack Cattrall's been screwed here. Well, I thought there was only one winner. Jack Cattrall. Josh, by one round, it was a tough fight to score. Never in a million years did he win that fight. There was not a single doubt in my mind that I'd won the fight. Not one. I've never seen anything quite as bad as that, and as obvious, and it was, I was felt sick for him. Everybody knows, apart from apparently two judges. Again, we'd seen the judges take a deserved win away from somebody. He's undefeated, in my opinion, and many other people with clean eyesight's opinion. The only reason people know him is for fighting me. The spike develops even more, mainly because the person that got the decision that everyone thought that he was forced to do doesn't acknowledge that there was any chance of it, the decision was wrong. I certainly didn't think I lost, that's for sure. I didn't think I lost. And I oh, said to I him right after the decision, I mean, you didn't win that fight. The fact that he still thinks he won the fight, I don't trust the man. He's kind of acted a crybaby sore loser in the last two years. I think both fighters will want to settle the score. There's a lot at stake. You've got to look at Taylor, you've got to look at what he's achieved in the sport. You know, he feels as though, what are these people talking about? I won that fight. And he wants to go out there and prove that he was right. He didn't want to fight me but it's kind of backed him into a corner to put this fight on. Taylor, where are you? I can't wait to put him back in his box, end his career before it's got going. I want to f***ing hurt him the next time. Let's have it, you f***ers. I can't stand him. The two face-offs, there was moments in both of those. You're, You're done, you finished, you finished. <laughs> Oh. Have you been Always drinking? Some. Have you been drinking? Always half hour. Have you been drinking? Like see you tomorrow, it. you big. Oh, yeah, so I see you there, you little simpleton. I just don't think Jack's very comfortable um, at doing in these situations. He can't control his emotions, you know. So I went up there and, you know, called him fat, touched him in like that, flicked his flicked his nipples, and uh, he's tried to choke me, and then all of a sudden went to punch him. So it's like keep your hands to yourself, you know, like. I've been just contradicting myself there by doing that, but... Fans have been waiting in the rain in Manchester for the press conference. He turns up over half an hour late. I think he'd been to the shop for some crayons. And he's sat down and thought, you know what, prime time, he's getting another clip. England v Scotland narrative, but it's more of me just fighting the Do you think of that all by yourself, Jack? Think of that all by yourself? Huh? You look like a baggage. You get away from your crayons, bro. You look like, like a baggage. Hey, you're a little <laughs> one pea brain that you've got. You're one brain cell that you've got. Jack not giving you the lines to say. You don't have to let it talk by yourself. You finished. Get back to your crayons. You're finished after this fight. Back to your crayons. Right now, I think is an absolute <laughs> genuine bad blood.
What three words would you use to describe Josh Taylor? Delusional, arrogant and annoying. Just can't wait to stop talking about him. Do I think Josh Taylor ever avoided me? Of course, Josh doesn't want to fight me. Since the first fight, we've had the fight scheduled maybe four times now. And he's looking for any way out. I think he's in a position where he has to fight me. I think he's been forced into this position. When you look at the landscape, the fights that are there, the fights that are not there, this fight makes a lot of sense. Do I think he wants it? No. Does he have to take it? Yes. You right, mate? The big, ta the big table. It's already set up, I think. We should ask the restaurant if they've got colouring box as well. <laughs> what the most beautiful thing in this place is the barbecue. It's a special barbecue with a special char. Tom Grant. What's happening, Tom? Meats with no bones. Matt Trimmer just filming, filming me speaking to you, so... Uh... <laughs> I'll have that. I have a ribeye with the greasy side. I have a sirloin with the greasy Yeah, sitting down. If you like lean meat, I have really... Are you, are you being serious? All the meat is just... coming with the cold flows and chips, you know? Yeah. Are you actually being serious? Okay. Take a look. Take a look. Yeah, go on. Go on. Are you actually being serious, Tom? <sighs> Tom, Tom, the thing is, we did speak about this before, and we said, is he going to pull out of this fight? Fill, fill it. Uh, on, on, whatever he said, the fillet, nice barbecue, that yeah. one. Then. We can't do the fight in four weeks, though, Tom. That's the thing. Jack's getting married. Why not get a burger? Because you didn't get a burger, yeah, did you win? No, I'll call you back in an hour, OK? Frank Smith's calling me now, OK? See you in a minute. What have you done? <laughs> What's the damage? <laughs> Go on. It's just like, it's, it's ruined. <laughs> like, the, the... Go on. Fight's being delayed. Swear down. Why would I lie to you? We're going to cancel that food. I'm going to get a burger. For what? Josh's eyes flared up because he had that procedure on. He's like, I feel like smashing my phone against that post. I'm messaging Josh. No, don't message him, Jack. Don't message him. Wow. Oh, me. Me. I, I, it's, 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 I, I feel for him, but like, I feel sick. They've, they, they've said the doctors are, are writing to Matthew, basically saying, we want the fight, we just need an extra four weeks. Wow. I thought he was joking. I thought Tom was joking with me wow. then. I was like laughing, so I was like, that is a joke, isn't it? This is uh, It's got to be put back three weeks, but, you know, in a situation like that, who used to say that doesn't happen again in another two or three weeks? This is the fifth time the fight's been made and then fell through. It's just a mess. It's just, just nonsense. But it's just like, with the greater respect, what's this like? It's, it's, it... Oh, he's a now. Isn't it? Please, is that Lauren? Yeah. Stinks. I've just messaged Tom here. I said, Tom, that's the date you want all along. It stinks. The whole thing stinks. Thousands of tickets. Uh, ring me, please, kid, when you get this message. Fucking Sam's just had a phone call. Um, fights. Been postponed. I missed messaging. What have you said to us? Soft. <laughs> just soft. <laughs> soft. <laughs> ah, it's the whole thing's. How many times have we done this? How many times have we been here? Been agreed, off, agreed, off. Not happening, just done. We'll forget about it. Yeah, the fight's going to happen. It's going to happen. Fight time. <laughs> off, I'm not fighting. Done. I might just announce it's off in a minute before everyone else. Don't do it. Don't, don't just, just don't do it. Please, don't do it. Uh, uh, more of this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Send the bill to that honestly. When that call came through, I thought, nah, the fight's not going to happen. And he's looking for any way out. 
I was, I was ready to go, you know, we were sparring well. Medical professionals and the surgeons saying, look, the pressure in your eyes is way too high. I think it's genuine. He's had so many injuries, so it's got to be one of them. So it can lead to, like, blindness and glycoma if the pressure's too high. Stuff boxing, you know, you only get one set of eyes. Sam and the coaches and all that saying, oh, this is all planned and everything. Like, why would they plan something to, to be rescheduled only by four weeks? But yeah, listen, his body's falling apart. He's had a lot of tough fights in a short amount of time. If you can just sell a tape him together and get him ready, that would be nice. Don't know what it is with that team. They always complain about my health. It's like they don't want me to be at my fittest and at my best. We're still going to get in there, we're still going to get in and I'm going to mash them up. Yeah, when we got the news of the Josh Taylor injury, it was it was a gutter. Luckily, it was four weeks. Frustrating, but just pleasing to know that the injury was minor and not something that was going to affect the fight. I'm going to f smoke Jack Atlow this morning. Watch every rep. Oh, See, you've yeah. got to travel comfy, do you know what I mean? <laughs> you have to put your shoes on, so. Uh, just stepped out with my slippers. So what they do is, it should take about 40 to 45 seconds to get round. So they go down, around the back there, and then they finish here. And at that point, I make them shadow box. I try and make them understand, when you're in a fight and your output's been high, and you know, you might have had your opponent sort of in trouble and you've, you've gone for a finish, and then you're in that position where they're still there and you've got to recover. Bear in mind, in some rounds, you would go back there and you think, that's it, I've spent. But the most important thing then is to stay calm, stay relaxed, recover, and don't get hit. So I make them try and keep the focus, relax, and work on the defence. So they're just shadow boxing. They're not punching. They're just focusing on not getting hit and working on defence. And then on the next minute, they go again. They do three laps, and then when they're finished, they get the recovery, and then they have to go again. It's not even my hat, it's my dad. <laughs> Sorry, dad. <laughs> <laughs> what three words would you use to describe Jack Catchell? Thick, boring, and I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> what do I say that I say period? Yeah, but not when I'm talking to Jack, it's not. <laughs> I'm just here, I've got the film crew here. They want me to phone. They want me to phone. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I'm so surprised now. <laughs> yeah, so they just wanted me to give you a phone because they're wanting your terrific banter, you see. I have to ask you what your prediction is for, for April 27th. Mm, let me think. <laughs> Jack, I don't get That's my lassie. <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, she's a good she's a good laugh, isn't she? She has a good laugh. She's got a good sense of humour. I've been with Danielle for, I'd say, about 13 years now. I met her when I was 19 year old. Um, and we've sort of been together since, like, you know, so I, good. Through my, one of my mates, um, we were going to, like, a, a Battle of the Bands thing. You know, it was, like, a, a big day. And my mate was going, listen, my cousin's up. You know, I met her there, and that was it, yeah. So, yeah, it was a good, it was a good night. The rest is history, is it? Yeah, it was a good night. I, I ended up being in a fight that night and stuff like that, so... I don't know how I never scared her away, but yeah, it was, uh, it was good. It was a good night. Go, how do you see Josh Taylor beating Jack Catchell? Landslide decision. I truly think Jack shouldn't lace a glove on him. He shouldn't. And it should be, it can be a walk in the park, and it should be. You get a shower, you get wet, you'll have to take a few because he's really cute. But a landslide decision. I know he can't beat me. If whether he's in his best or not, I know he can't beat me. I've, I've watched him fight so many times now, and it's like, I know he can't do much different. But it's up to me. It's up to me to prove it. Jack Catterell is up against it against Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor shows up on the night. He's in for a sort of time. 
Jack's a bit, he's a plant pot. It doesn't take an, a genius to figure out that he ain't the brightest. But the, as, as I say, the fizziest juice in the fridge. <laughs> you write all your own material then. <laughs> what the f am I doing here? Someone's got work to do. I think we've had two years since the fight where I've matured in and out of the ring. I'm doing a lot of developing and I think it's my time now to prove that I do belong in these big fights and once I beat Josh, I go on then and win a world title. You didn't duck him then, as he says. No, well, how can, you, how can you duck? I've never ducked anyone in my life. You know, like, look at the career I've had, become undisputed world champion in 18 fights and I'm ducking Jack Catterall. Come on. Ridiculous, get, get a grip of themselves. I've had a career of one in 65 million. I'm the only person to do what I've done in the sport, so I can go to bed and sleep at night. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, slip. Slip face, oh, yeah. open over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, come on. Josh Taylor is a tenacious, gutsy, ballsy f It'll take a special performance to stop him. What, what you don't understand is how good I know Jack is. And I've seen, I've seen him do it on a daily basis against high level top fighters and he always boxes better the better the guy is who he's in. I think Jack stops you this time. I think he's a lot better fighter than he was the first time round. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks but I've been teaching him a lot of new tricks so I'm expecting to see them May 25th. <laughs> was there anything that surprised you in, in that first fight? He never surprised me, no. Um, that was purely because down to my preparation I never prepared well. I wasn't mentally right, you know, I'd just been to, to Vegas and become undisputed world champion and, you know, I was still sort of in that celebration mode. I was kind of still just like living on cloud nine and kind of lost slip of what was right in front of me. You know, that's a mistake that I made. Do you think you overlooked him in hindsight? Yes, 100%, yeah. And I won't be doing that mistake again. You know, you've got to give credit where credit's due. He is good at what he does, but really, they thought Linares there. He was coming over for his final payday. That was his opportunity to put on a, a statement performance and he never he stunk the place out. I just don't think he's world level. Shot, shot. I want to beat him uh, in every way possible. I want to make it slow and painful, but I also want to knock him out cold. Three, four, jump. Good luck. The thought of losing to anyone, that's when it gives you the fear. That's what gives me that bit between teeth during training. I don't want to get beat. That's what gives you the, the butterflies in your stomach and if Jack says anything different, he's lying. After the first fight, you were very, very passionately upset about what happened in the ring. Never in a million years did he win that fight. Not one chance. He's been robbed, he's been added off, and it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. I, I, I'm, I'm still probably, I'm not far from there now. I've genuinely gone over it so many times in my mind. Whatever that time is, from the end of the contest to the decision coming out, as far as I was concerned, Jack Carroll was undisputed world champion and his life had changed. You know, it would be unrecognisable from what it is now. And all that evaporated when that third scorecard came down. And still undisputed super lightweight champion of the world. And I was devastated and angry. So um, we've got things to do on the 25th of May. Backhand. Backhand all. Finish backhand third. Again. I mean, if the fight was tomorrow, I feel I'd do a number on him right now, the way I'm performing, the way I feel, ready to just do the damage. I mean, I can't see how way he can beat me. He thinks he's going to knock you out. <laughs> Great. Great. Absolutely fantastic. He should enjoy this. It's probably going to be his last fight. No room to hide, Josh. Can't wait to get my hands on him. Rival, enemy, Josh Taylor is that to me. The judges can't save him. They won't be able to save him. I've beat him once and I'll beat him again. I can't wait.